and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would jump on finally to chat a little about what's going on with my training at the moment, uh, training goals because my last episode, if you haven't caught up on that, I did chat through everything that I'm going through at the moment with my nutrition and my food goals. Um, and it was WBFF on the weekend, so that gave me a huge boost of motivation, just seeing everyone in their most incredible physiques and also to those who won their pro cards, which is super exciting for them. So that definitely gave me a little extra wave of motivation um, and got me thinking about Prep Again, which is slowly creeping up, slowly, but also not until October time. So. Yeah, I thought I'd chat to you guys about my current off-season training regime um, and what my goals are at the moment. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys through my current sub stack top-up, which just arrived in the mail. Um, so, basically, every morning I have been having this little concoction with a big... Uh, like full shaker of cold water definitely helps me get that first little uh, boost of water in my morning as well um, but we've got mango passion fruit and mango pineapple flavor collagen and then my greens powder and i mix those together um, and they taste pretty delicious to be honest you wouldn't have ever thought that this is a greens powder and it's sweetened with stevia as well so um, i really like this for a greens powder I normally have that first thing with my probiotic every single morning. Um, so I've got a top up of that. Um, current, and this has been my go-to protein um, for a while now, but this is just the chocolate fudge for one. Um, so I have this with everything, um, smoothies, overnight oats. Um, speaking of, I'm about to have my overnight oats in a second, which I'll show you guys. Um, Oxy shred. I have oxy shred still pretty much every morning. Um, some mornings I wake up and I have like a black coffee. Other mornings I wake up and have an oxy shred. Or most mornings I wake up and just have oxy shred, um, and it just gets me moving for the day. Especially if I do get up and do a little bit of uh, walking or cardio or anything to start my day. Um, next, got to show you guys what is next. So pre-workouts. Normally I will mix it up. For pre-workouts guys i'm always going between a and b depending on kind of how i feel for the day um, if i'm looking for a really hardcore pre-workout before like a big leg day um, i would normally go for total war uh, but this one just to warn you girls gives you the tingles everywhere it's pretty strong so unless you like that kind of effect Total War is probably one to stay clear of. Um, and so on other days, basically, um, I like to have, I don't know if you guys have seen, but I've had C4 cans for quite a while. Um, but my girlfriend Gina came up and she got me a little addicted to bangs, which I had never had before prior to her um, convincing me to try one. So what is good about them is the flavors, to be honest. There's so many yummy flavors. Um, and I do have to say, compared to a C4, this is actually higher in caffeine, guys. So this is pretty uh, pretty intense if you're gonna go down for a whole can. Um, sometimes I even just have like half at a time. Um, I don't finish a whole can in one. But anyway, I got a whole slab of those to get me through the next month. So yeah, that is my current top up uh, from Elite Subs. Of course, if you guys want to buy anything from Elite and they do do everything, um, I have a code which is Alice J. Okay, so currently, um, I will remind you guys of what I'm currently doing. I'm sort of on a maintenance phase with my food. Um, I was definitely planning to go into a surplus phase. I think that's what I said to you guys last time I had a chat with you guys as well. Um, but I did kind of increase my calories slowly. Um, and I was planning to really try and push them up, which is probably what I should be doing. But I have a couple of very, very important events. My best friend Gina is getting married. We have her her, her wedding in a couple weeks. 
Um, I do have a bridesmaid dress that I actually have to fit into um, and want to feel comfortable in. So I haven't been pushing the limit with my um, surplus phase at this point in time. I've kind of been staying within my comfort zone and just maintaining things. So we'll see, maybe when it comes into closer into June, I'll push it up, um, you know, and really go for it just before I come into cut down for the next show. We'll see how I go. I do feel like I'm making really good progress anyway with my training. Um, I'm feeling really good. So currently I'm back on the overnight oats in the morning. So I've kind of been doing like one big meal. Like this is like at least 500 calories. Um, waiting for it to digest like an hour to an hour and a half at least. And then going to do my training session. Um, today I'm actually training legs and Christian is going to be filming for me. We're going to be doing some content together. Um, so that'll be fun. So yeah, I thought I'd chat to you guys through what my goals are with my training. But right now I need to eat this. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've actually moved my desk into our living room. I was in the office for a couple of months and there was something about being in a combined small space that I just not like, I don't really like it. I don't know why. Uh, we've moved around so much in the last few years. I've been used to working from cafes, on coffee tables, by the pool. Um, and I just find that I really like having my work desk out in the open. So currently Warren has the office to himself, which he absolutely loves. And I am out in the living room. Um, so I thought I would take you guys through what's in my overnight oats because they're actually really good. Um, this is not a staple overnight oats for me because normally I will always have my protein powder in my overnight oats. Um, but recently I've just been trying to get more of my daily protein through lean meats. Um, so I usually have, typically I might have more than one serve of whey protein per day, so probably about two. Um, but I've knocked that down to one, um, and I'm just trying to get more of that protein intake from good quality, um, like lean meat. So, <clears throat> basically, um, I'm having my protein powder after I train, straight after my training. Um, and this just has oats, frozen blueberries, peanut butter, um, Chobani Greek yogurt and what has flavored it is actually some maple syrup and also a little bit of stevia as well. So that's kind of given its sweetness. Um, normally, obviously I would get that flavor from the protein powder, um, but actually tastes really good. So yeah, I'll pop that up on the screen for you guys just so you can see what is actually in the ingredients. Mm -mm. So, um, I'm off to train in about an hour or so, but basically my current split at the moment, um, I have been training three lower body days, one full total upper body day, which is meant to be um, more of a maintenance lightweight style circuit. And then I'm doing about two hot yoga classes per week. They are one hour hot yoga classes. So my weekly schedule looks a little like this. I've got Monday evenings. Um, I usually go for a walk and then do an hour hot yoga. Tuesday, which is today, I've got a big lower body session of glutes and hamstrings. Um, plus I will aim to get some steps in, which I did this morning. Went for a little beach walk. Wednesday um, is a complete rest day and I'll usually do a yoga session on that day as well for an hour. Thursday, legs, glutes again, number two for the week. Friday, rest or upper body circuit. Um, and then Saturday, low body glutes and hamstrings again. Sunday, rest. So that's kind of what my week is looking like. Um, so with my training, basically, the hardest thing for me over the last few, actually, I was going to say a few months, but really it's been years um, since my last comp has been to be very specific with my training. So normally I would go in and do, I mean, I think everyone is kind of like this. You want to go in and do all the things that you absolutely love to do. But when it comes to composition, actually refining um, your physique, especially when you get to a certain level, like it's not just about growing everywhere. Um, and it's more about fine tuning your shape. 
Um, and to do that takes a lot of manipulation of your programming. So for me, um, I've had to be very strategic around what exercises I'm doing, um, particularly with my upper body. My last feedback from my latest show was that basically not to gain any more upper body muscle at all. Um, <clears throat> It also comes down to your specific shape as well. So uh, overall, I am very broad across the shoulders. I have really broad shoulders. So for me to gain um, real big delt caps does not really fit in with the bikini category with WBFF. Um, because my shoulders are already so broad, actually works in my favor to not have big delts. Um, so shoulders is something that I definitely steer away because I don't want to bring too much more width across the top of myself. Um, my back basically has developed over the years of doing powerlifting, lots of heavy lifting with squats and deadlifts and um, mainly deadlifts. My erectors, bottom of my spine, um, my traps and my back is basically quite built in that way so that's another thing that um, for me is all about just kind of maintaining and not growing any thickness or growing any thicker through my back at the moment um, so yeah my upper body training days are more so surface style lightweight um, sometimes i do do like a cheeky back day or a shoulder day which i can post on my instagram just to share some of the workouts from my app um, <clears throat> and in some of my programs um, but those will generally be once in a blue moon. <laughs> so most of the time it's very uh, total upper body days. Um, with my lower body, like I've always been a little bit more quad dominant. Um, my quads have kind of been at a good um, place in both of my shows previously. And so um, the biggest goal for me right now is to actually match my quads, um, match the strength of those quads with my glutes and my hamstrings, which for a long time have, has been very, very hard for me. That's always been my pain point, growing my glutes. Um, and although I must admit for many years that was just due to, you know, not programming properly, not eating enough food. So um, I've really been trying to work hard to bring up my hamstrings and my glutes over the past few years, which has meant very specific training for me. Um, the thing is like, if I was to go in and just do what I love, like leg presses and heavy squatting, none of those things are really going to benefit fine tuning my physique at the moment. So everything is very, very specific. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I'm doing at the moment is quite isolated um, because I'm not looking to um, grow size as much, but more so to really um, grow more shape in certain areas. So. I have been doing my own programming for the last year or so, um, really enjoying it. And I'm definitely tracking my progress, taking photos, um, measuring my glutes to see that things are going in the right direction. I'm pretty confident that I'm definitely going to make some big progress in those areas in my next show. But of course, it's always a little hard to see um, to what extent really the progress you have made until you compare your two stage photos when you're in that lean condition. So I'm excited. Um, but yeah, basically that's what I've been doing with my training at the moment. I'm absolutely loving the one hour of hot yoga. I did Bikram uh, yoga for a little while and I was just struggling with the fact that it was a 19 minutes of sweating and hot yoga, which for me was just a little bit too crazy. Um, like 60 minutes in was enough for me. Um, because you know of all the other external factors and training that i also had but also just dehydration levels as well so i found a place here close to home that does um kind of like a, an adaptation of bikram yoga they do flow classes and then they do one that is basically a 60 minute shorter version of bikram um and so that has been perfect absolutely loving it because those classes are actually really challenging um it's also, for me, helping me to connect a little bit more, be more present um, and, you know, really actually take that hour and time to focus on my breathing um, and all while actually getting a really challenging workout as well. So I'm really loving that at the moment. I do feel like it's kind of complementing my training, um, especially, 
you know, being so heavy, lower body focused. I'm actually getting a little more upper body strengthening and posture work in the yoga classes as well. So that's really it. That's my current training split. That has been my split for a long time now. I usually follow the same exercise, the same training program for at least eight weeks at a time. Um, and you know, I do post other workouts on my Instagram page, obviously to show you guys what some of my other training programs look like, but more or less, if I was to show you guys what I'm training, it is the same thing every single week, um, because progressive overload, um, and working through a program is really important for progress. So I prefer to do this rather than changing things up all the time. Um, if you guys have any questions though about my training, comment below and I might dive into them into my next update. Thanks for tuning in guys.